Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. I'm losing it right now because Mike is literally just a floating head. Not even just a face, not even a head. Thanks to Kerwin in the chat, Mike uh, has a... Well, he's got a green. Welcome, human viewers. <laughs> I am the ultra-powerful Miracle. <laughs> you a... cannot see only my face. You cannot see only your face? Shut up. Okay. Do not question. Oh, boy. That's actually incredible. So, anyway, we're going to do a modern cube draft here. And uh, hopefully Mike's amazing powers will help us win. You think I would waste my powers on your puny human draft? <laughs> Oh, I was hoping you would. I'll understand if you don't, though. Wow. <laughs> this guy can't handle this. Chris, what's going on? Good seeing you, buddy. Video of Frank being born. What does that mean? Is that a response to something? <laughs> oh, Jesus. You look really weird, man. This is my life now. Oh, Mike, uh, video of Mike being born. There you go. There you go. Similar, but different. This is just amazing. <laughs> I think it looks better without the hood. Because it kind of ruins the illusion a little bit over here. God, you really got an emo. You got your emo haircut there. All right, man, what's the pick here? We got two We got two favorites over here. Grizzle Brand Crunch. Is that, is that a cereal? Yes. Let me see if I can fix that so your, your outline is 127. What's a pick? You you focus on the pick. I'll focus on this. Is it Grizzle Brand Crunch? Is there a lot of reanimation in this cube? I don't know, actually. Oh, I'm doing the wrong one. I'm an idiot. idiot. <laughs> wow. You didn't waste any time calling me an idiot. If I move a little bit, it helps. Check it out. That is, yeah, that's better. Just stay like that forever. Anyway, what's the pick? I think it's Crystal Brand or Primeval Titan. I think that's one of those is correct. I think it's prime time, and then we'll see if this Crystal Brand comes back. It'll never come back. It won't. I don't know how many ways there are to reanimate, so I'm just going to take the prime time. Oh, I found one. <laughs> I found a way to do it. Also, Nullhide Frox and Time Warp. Ooh, can we be Time Warping? I kind of want to Time Warp here. Everybody do the time warp again. Is that the song? Everybody do the time warp again? You shut up. <laughs> I'm just going to take the time warp. Do you have any you have any objections to that? No. Okay. What's the pick here? Temporal Mastery? How many time warps can we get? All of them. Take them all. Should we? Yeah. Go big or go home. <clears throat> Are you being serious? Yeah. Are you? I mean, the right pick is like Woodfall Primus or Elvish Mystic. I think it's but... Woodfall Primus. I bet this comes back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six card, five cards to come back? I'm taking Woody. Okay. It's not going to come back. Wow. Hater's going to hate. Oh, Oracle? Go closer to the camera. Okay. No one's winning here. <laughs> it's not good. Like this? Oh, Jesus. I took the Oracle, because <clears throat> you were in the zone, so. What do you think about Hornet Queen? It's a good one. Or Wooded Foothills. Nah, Hornet Queen. Or Luteral Core. Nah, Hornet Queen. What about Nissa Vital Force? 
No, nah, Hornet Queen. All right, I'll take the Hornet Queen. Because sometimes you just need a 7 drop to go with your 8 drop. Yeah, now we got a curve. 6, 7, 8. Now we can take this 5 drop, and then we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. Good deal. You want the Thrag Tusk, right? I think it's actually the pick, too. Yeah, no, I agree. No jokes aside. <laughs> curve jokes aside, if you know what I mean. Mike, you're my favorite person. I love you. It's pretty good. I'm glad I could be of service. I'm also glad that Mike could be of service. It's his first time ever being of service. Got him. You just... What did you just do? I had a pokey spot, so I fixed it. On what? In the, in the invisible air? Yeah, they couldn't see it, but I could. Wow, you must have... You must have the infinity stones. <laughs> Only I can see through the reality of life. <laughs> through the reality of life. We need a card that Mike can float over. I'm tempted to put another camera... And then have me on one and Mike on the other so we can just have his head somewhere. But I don't know how that would work. It sounds complicated. <clears throat> Everything's complicated. Uh, stop <laughs> moving me. Uh, uh, I'm getting sick. <laughs> <laughs> We have a good time here. Oh, where's the event list? Come on, event list. Get it together. Pop on down. There we go. What's the pick here, buddy? Overrun? Hinterland Harbor? Probably Hinterland Harbor, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Progenitor Mimic. We took that with Mike, uh, with Swole Mike the other day, and uh, he seemed all right with it. I need some green gloves. Green Gloves uh, then I can do magic is tricks. a song by the National. Here, hold on. Is it Sakura Tri Builder or is it Progenitor Mimic? I think it's Sakura Tri Builder. What up, Grouch? Hey, man. I need your input here. Mimic or, or Tri Builder? Tri Builder. All right. Harmonized? That's a good one. All right, these picks are just giving, giving us themselves... This is a nice one for this. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's too green. It's not working. Need something less green. Oh, look. Look, you stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, Rex Sage? That's main deckable. The magic of the time twister. This is amazing. Ooh. You guys come for the magic, but you stay for the actual magic, right? You guys come for the card magic, but stay for the, the literal magic. I like... Is it Primal Command? I think it's Primal Command here. Alright, well, we ran out of time, so it's definitely Primal Command. This deck looks great, and we're playing like 13 out of 15 cards. Show me what you got. I like what you got. <clears throat> That's from Rick and Morty. You ever see that show, Rick and Morty? No, man. What's it about? It's about a chihuahua and a fat cat. Mm hmm And they get into... They have adventures. Sounds like my kind of show. Yeah, it's a, it's a good show. I'm sure you're not lying to me. Why would I lie about that? I don't know. I'm just here because you guys put up with my insane ideas. I don't think that's true. You were here long before you started proposing insane ideas. I call your bluff... Is that a bluff? I don't know if that's how bluffs work, but either way, I called it, so that's you're done. I only have hands. You have a head, head, too. Okay. Let me complete a sentence. Jesus. <laughs> Let me complete a sentence? What is the pick here? I don't know. And you do have to get shifty with it. Take a shit on the floor. <laughs> Take a shit on the floor. Take. Were you actually describing Run and Snippy? That's correct. Take Duplicant. Really? You don't like this, Garrick? Big Nip Scarek? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good. Aren't they all Big Nip Scarek? But we removal. What did you say? Duplicate? Duplicate, yeah. I you have plenty like of that. ways to win. He's your favorite. You're right. <clears throat> yeah, this is not even close. There's nothing in this pack you can convince me to take over Consecrated Sphinx. I would never try. Sword of Body and Mind and a Sword of Fire and Ice? Wow. Frank wants Mike to make picks. Mike makes about two picks. Mike gets distracted by his hands. And then Frank finishes rest of picks. That sounds about right. 
All I have is my heads and my hands. I get distracted by them. Your heads? How many heads do you have? Several. This is a lot. I changed them out. This is a lot to take in tonight, man. Pulling the pepper hat? Okay. See, I literally, I asked which sword and he like, didn't even care. He's like, well, okay, take whatever sword you want, man. I want to take the sword of body and mind. How about that? Now, my children, ask me a question. I shall answer. Uh, this stream really went in a different direction tonight, didn't it? <clears throat> part of my wants a beard, beard, beast wispy, but part I don't think beer, beast wispy is that great. It's also when you cast the creature, so cards like Hornet Queen are not great with it. Cards like Mike's Mom aren't that good with it. I do like a Jace Vryn's Prodigy, and by Vryn's Prodigy, I mean Architect of Light and Shadow, <clears throat> and that's what a stroke sounds like, kids. Oh, uh, Steel Leaf Champ. That's a dude. <clears throat> that guy carries... Oh, or is it Cyclonic Rift? Cyclonic Rift is the better card. Cyclonic Rift is OP. I just like Beast... Frank, I want to give you a heads up on something. Oh. Oh, the Ludus Games. Is it the that your package you shipped? I did get your email today. Uh, Torrential Gearhook is good, but we don't actually have anything <coughs> that works with it. Sorcery. Oh, we have a Cyclonic Rift, but that's it. Nobby. Yeah, Ludus, Ludus Games is sending us a package from Canada <coughs> with snacks. And I think Villy sent us one from India, which is utterly insane. Whoa, <coughs> Otherwise known as I Am Valley Man. So we will have Indian and Canadian snacks incoming. Thank you. I think it's actually Court of Calling here. I, don't know I hope it all it. tastes like chicken tikka masala. <laughs> Steven C, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. One whole year. Happy anniversary, friendo. I want to take this Prophet of Crew fix because that card was banned in Commander. Really? Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on it. Should be there by Friday. Ooh. <clears throat> nice. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. Canada's having a postal strike, apparently, so. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Hydra. We don't have that much ramp, though, is my, is my issue with Hydra. Okay. Like, we basically only have Tri-Belder. So I'd rather have a card that hits us lands. Eh, three drop is just nice. What card are we not playing out of here? I'm never sold on Primal Command. I like having it, but I'm never like, oh, this card's great. Uh, Black Weight, we went about 2-3, I believe. It wasn't great, but I do like the changes that we made. Uh, our record wasn't great. That you is. also played like three games before we made the red change, which yeah, I think we, is really important. We added red for the last two games. Um, oh, I like Signet. Seems fine. One color Siggy. Yeah, that seems good. And uh, we ended up adding red, so it was actually Mardu Aristocrats. And we added Legion War Boss and Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. Uh, both changes I felt pretty good about. So. <clears throat> and then Mike actually disappeared after that. He became one with the Aether. Oh, Beast Wispy came back. Get Wispy. That guy's pretty decent. You gotta get Wispy. Is there a Mike Headless Torso streaming in a parallel universe? Oh, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, that's where the other half went. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Actually, how many instants and sorcerers do you have? This actually could be decent in our deck. Yes, it gives you. I'm pretty sure he's having a stroke. Can someone call the authorities? The authorities? Is that who you call when someone has a stroke? I don't think so. I think they, they call the ambulance, Frank. <laughs> what do you know? You're not a doctor. Augur's always bad. Never play it. I agree. It literally just looks at the top, the bottom three cards of your deck. One disappearing Mike Buck. Steven C., thank you so much, buddy. Always appreciate it right after our one-year anniversary. It's going to disappear, though. You're not going to get it. Oh, because the buck itself is a disappearing Mike Buck? Mm -hmm. Use it now. That's brutal. Spend it quick. I can't. You better. I... Okay. Just do it. Our deck is already done. It's a little high on the curve. If you know what I mean. What was I bumping? Nobody, Nobody knows. knows. You tell we sprawl and eternal witness are our options here, I think. I like witness. 
It is a powerful magic card. I agree with you. Every time I look at Den Protector, I'm like, God, you got nothing on Witness. Oh, I like Vivian oh. Reed. Mira Trim, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Mike reminds me of Vincent Price and when he was on Scooby. Michael reminds me of Vincent Price when he was on. Was that a good Vincent Price? I don't know. Probably not. I don't even know who that is. You know who Vincent Price is? He does. The most popular thing he, he's probably known for is uh, he does the, 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 the voiceover parts in Thriller. I can't do it because they'll, they'll demonetize this, but. I want to take the Vivian Reed. You okay with that? Sure. Why, well, sure, by Sam's Hill. Sam's Hill? Mm hmm. Huh. Rogue Hall Mystic is probably better than it's a signet for us. Well, we can play both. We don't have to choose. Well, this is 24 cards. Magic though. lets you play whatever cards you want. Oh, a Tireless Tracky? Or a Rampaging Baylos? I don't think we need a more top end here. Vincent Price is the artist that did Doom Whisper. Um, I think that might be Vincent Prost, but I don't know. I'm not sure. He was also very iconic in horror movies, yes. I only wish the Pepper Hats Pepper part wasn't invisible. <laughs> it really ruins it. Or does it make it better? Is it Pilgrim's Eye or Tireless Tracker here, man? Tireless Tracker for sure. Yeah, I agree. How is, that, how is it even comparable? How's that even a question? <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Is it Vincent Price? Are you. Wait. Are you sure? Doom was. Wait. Is this a joke? Is this like a really meta. Are you like next leveling me here? Oh, Christ. It's not Vince. What's wrong with you? Why are you the way that you are? What's the pick here, man? Tarastodon? Nissa? Kitchen Finks? Tatiova? Tatiova! Is that your answer? Or? Kitchen Finks is probably better for a deck. I agree with you. I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> what an amazing chain of events there. Oh, I like Vizier many faces, actually. Copying any dude is nice, and then copying another dude again is pretty good. How do you feel about that, Michael? Pretty good. Michael, how do you feel about it? I said pretty good. Michael, tell me. Shut your mouth, boy, <laughs> or I'll shut it for you. What is? How would you do that? Can you explain the steps that you would take to shut my mouth for me? With my hammer. You'll shut my mouth, your mouth, my mouth. Shut up. Ten under sources, right click your camera source, copy, paste, duplicate, independent mic. Yes, that's... That would work. And I would have to I'd have to adjust the dimensions though. Is it exclusion mage or cure the crashing wave? Q actually I kinda like the bouncy boy. I like the I like this card too. I think it's good. <clears throat> wow, this is a late main slayer. People got no respect. And a late Nighthawk and a Burger Whites and is no one playing black in this draft? It appears so. <clears throat> I don't think we're playing Vizier many faces. Why? So much commitment. What commitment? This is also double blue. This is also double blue. This is also double blue. What are you talking about? No, I meant like you gotta like make it a copy, and then if it dies, he comes back, and then you know. What's that's the good. what's the commitment? Like you gotta copy a guy, and that's <laughs> who wants to be doing that. Clone effects are literally some of the best effects in the game. Who said that? I think lots of people have said that. I want to take this Thassa. <clears throat> oh, Pelucranos. That's a card I have played before we that actually be pretty good what that actually be pretty good it's removal oh condescend that's removal i don't remove their spell please condescend. don't shut your mouth with his mouth oh, oh butterfree i'm just gonna do this for a while i'm about to bust just bob your head back and forth hey man you were you said you're hungry what were you thinking about getting for some food <clears throat> oh, it's probably too late pilgrim's eye or rampaging bail loss let's go to bed hungry I'll just go to bed hungry. Pilgrim's Eye, probably. You think so? Are you playing it? No. We're not playing Bailoth either. Why not? Bailoth is good. Yeah, what are you going to cut for it? I don't know. What am I going to cut for Pilgrim's Eye? You're not. You're putting it in the sideboard. You both of them go to the sideboard. You go to the sideboard. Oh, that's a good one. <coughs> oh, God. He's dying. We have to make five cuts here. That's probably a little... Probably is a signet. I, what? Why? Because it's off color. Your mother is off color. 
She's not. She's not. She is. <laughs> She's not. Probably Nissa. Yeah, I was thinking that. I like one of these six drops you can cut. Probably the duplicate. Why? It's removal. It sucks. Rampage Bill sucks more. It doesn't. It wins games. It's real good. When you play this guy, you usually get 10 power. You usually get 6-6 six, six and a 4-4. Four, four. So I'm going to play this guy and I'm going to show you. I don't want to listen to you right now. You don't want to play duplicate? It's removal. I don't care. You should care. I don't care. i got to take this off. It's getting too hot. It's getting too hot. Two more cuts, man. Two more cuts. What are they going to be? I already made my cut. We can cut this temporal mastery. No. Okay. That's our theme. Our uh, sub theme. Oh, you're right. My bad. Cut this Prophet Crucifix. We don't have any instants. My card's busted. It's not in our deck, though. We don't have any you instants. You untap all your stuff. To do what? We have no instants. To untap it. Okay. Well, that says all I need to know. God, you're so against untapping. What's wrong with you? My mother was untapped Doesn't once. Doesn't untap your creatures, too? Yeah, but who cares? But then they got Vidge. Jesus. I'm just going to play this. This is too many cards, though. It's only too many by one. Okay. And not if you believe. What? What is this? Get out of here. One, two, three, four, five, thing. six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is eight, ten. All right, that's better. Done. Product is literal, literal insanity. It doesn't give. Do oh, again? it doesn't give creatures flash. Oh my god, that's so many things. That's actually pretty good. You might have me with the creatures have flash. I knew it was busted. Get it back on in here. Get it back on. What are we cutting then? We can we can bring frag tusk in when it's good. It's always good. Oh wait, yeah, that's fine. All right, whatever. Move it, football head. What is it? <laughs> it's a little Hey Arnold meme. Oh, I thought it was just being mean. It's a lot funnier now that it's from Hey Arnold. Oh, good lord. I will play first. They didn't ask me that. Yeah, I know what 41 cards. I love when people tell me that, like, What? Oh, what? I'll keep this hand. It's very slow. Yeah, until we draw things. Like, we're just going to draw Secure Tribal there, or uh, is it Charm? So it's, is it Signet? So it's totally fine. You're just being a little baby for the sake of being a little baby. We'll see. We'll I see. am the forest. He was the forest. He's not the forest I anymore. am still the forest. Prove it. Oh, wow. You still are. Look at that. <sighs> That's awkward. Now I am the island. <laughs> You're all I'm gonna fix it for you. No, you're good. Just stop. You're messing with the magic. I'm trying to make it perfect. There you go. Not everything can be perfect, Frank. But yeah, but if you try. There you go. You did it. I have my books and hide poetry to protect me. Mm -hmm. You're looking good, man. Looking good, Island Boy. Mike, can you tuck in a string into your collar and drop it down your torso so it looks like you're a balloon? Um, <laughs> I don't think we have any strings lying around for that. Uh, boy, I can find a string for that. Actually, I'm not sure if I can find Don't be an Ashiok. You're good at this game. My cringing is so real right now. I'm going to hit Primeval Titan. Okay, that was not it. Now I am your prophet. Deep within the... Oh, dang it. No. Sorry, bud. I Here, was a prophet. I can just move it. There oh, you go. yeah, now I'm the prophet. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Just absolutely incredible. Wow, they just put that secret tribal there. Bring me your sacrifices. What do you wow. want to sacrifice? Okay, this is not, this is not going well. Hmm. Deep within my heart, I touch no one and no one touches me. I am a relic. I am a relic. 
And the rock feels no pain. It's true. Oh, they're going to crack this and then they're going to pack navigation so they have lands to do things. Are you ready? Oh, they didn't do it. All right. A floating majigger? What does that even mean? I'm going to bounce this. And then I'm going to play a bunch of things. Is that what's going to happen? What did you get this time? Jade Light Ranger? That's fine. You can bounce this guy again. Get no value off your Jasons. Okay. I might actually play Vizier and copy it. <laughs> so we have two. Oh, so we have Dose. Have Mike catch some six waves. <laughs> oh, oh, crying out loud. Jesus. Oh no, my head gonna get wet. That was a good voice you did there. But was it though? Hmm. Oh, that's a thing, isn't it? Yep. You gotta tuck this, of, right? Like all the high tier planeswalkers. Yeah, this is nice. This is a nice three, four, five. This is a nice curve. Uh, not gonna lie here, Craig. You ain't gotta lie, Craig. If they try to tuck this, we're definitely copying it. It's not legendary, right? All right, cool. No. I am a rock. You can also play your outer claw. Oh, we, yeah, we are, buddy, buddy boy, buddy boy biscuits, Bubby boy boo, biscuits. Boo, 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 boo. And our rock feels no. Wow, that is gambly. What if we have anything to get rid of a land, dude? That's amazing. Oh my god. Because we actually what if we take... just had a cryptic commander, Annie, we would just be dead. Yeah, we could just bounce one of your lands. That's nuts. Well, they didn't jace yet. Oh wow. This is great. Everything's happening right now. And the rock feels no pain. Okay, we get it. Rocks feel no pain. An island never cries. I'm just going to play Time Warp here. I don't really want them to untap with all these guys. That seems like a good one. Hopefully on his upkeep he tries to deal with it so he dies. Oh, that'd be great. Also, if they draw with either of these, we get to just fill our hand for like a bajillion. Like you're playing against the, the green deck, and you like tapped out when you have exactly. So you you packed them together. Like we have, have slime exactly packed, five, dude. Like we could have so many cards. Primal command slime. Um, there's like a bunch of things. There's a bunch. I just can't, you know, like. Oh, look, the profit crucifix. And they're tapped out this turn, which is just the insane. The Prophet has returned. Do they just waste their Jace to get rid of this and then draw a card? They have to, right? It's not great, but... Plow Under is in the cube, yeah. Plow Under is in this? Modern? Oh, yeah, we plowed it under we plowed under the other day. Hmm. Yep, give me two more cards, please. Got nothing there? Okay. Yep, you got it. Alright, so what can we do here? I guess we can play Prophet of Crufix and Rattleclaw Mystic and then keep a bunch of land up. Hunter, stop! <laughs> stop God, looking at you yourself, boy! I just hear him licking in the background. <laughs> I mean, if they have, like, Remand or Mana Lake here, it's terrible for us, but. <sighs> it's, that's exhausting. They've literally had everything this game. Like, turn turn three Ashok, turn four Jace the Mind Sculptor, turn five Teferi. Pact of Negation back up and Remand after the turn they cast. Uh, what's it called? Pack navigation. I'm just gonna fatal push this guy. You got that too.
I don't think Reclamation Sage isn't doing anything for us. Yeah, we don't know that now. Like, I'd rather discard, like, Consecrated Sphinx because we're at 14 cards. We're going to go to 11. Like, I don't think we're actually needing to draw more cards at this. Like, I don't want them to play, like, something stupid. Yeah, we're definitely bringing Terastid on here. If that means killing their... Giving them three elephants because they killed three Planeswalkers, that is okay. Oh, that's pretty good. I feel like we just want to scoop here. Like, they're just going to get Jace the Mind Sculpture back, right? And they play Jace, bounce this again. We just can't keep permanence on the board. Now they got a win condition. How's your head doing? Floating. And boating. I feel like, I feel like trying to ultimate this is pretty good when you have, like, seven cards in hand. They get the Pact of Negation back. It's so interesting because they have two islands. Like, it's such a risky card here. They do have eight cards in hand, though, so, like, they could play pretty much anything. Look, man. Reclamation stage is live. Great. I'm so excited about it. And you just can't hide it? Mm -hmm. Look, and now it's real live. Now it's double alive. <laughs> That's true. It is double alive, you see. I really wish we had a, pen a way to punish Pact. Uh, I do as well. Well, now they're now it's probably not an option. They're just gonna get a third island, I imagine. Yeah. <sighs> How do they still have five cards in hand? I don't understand. Cyclonic Rift would be great at some point. If it still exists in our deck. That is the thing, isn't it? This is just not great when we don't have anything on board, unfortunately. Like, we can play this and Rex Sage and then untap and go Oracle, and... I guess we could also play Harmonize. Go to 10 cards. Woodfall Primus is pretty good. We know they have packed, so they just packed this, untap, do their thing. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. They still have one, two, four mana, so. I mean, Woodfall Primus seems like it's pretty hard to deal with if they can't counter it. We can four, eight, nine. We only have ten, so we can't actually do multiple things. I was hoping we can wreck sage their Azorius Signet and then play Woodfall Primus, but we cannot. Play the balloon? What does that even mean? Well, there's Primeval Titan. So we just hit Ashiok. We can't actually hit Ashiok. We gotta hit Teferi first. Yeah, Ashiok's kind of killing us. Yeah, you're right. But then they just tuck Woodfall Primus, which is pretty bad. Do we care about that? I don't think so. They probably just have some random hard counter, and we're just going to concede, so it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> I guess, yeah, that's how it feels. Oh, my God. Sure. <sighs> Exhausting. Oh, that was fun. False. All right, well, we'll bring Terasta on in. Instead of Temporal Mastery, this card just sat in our hand. We're not getting ahead in this game. I don't hate Condescend, actually. Probably better than Vizier. They don't have a ton of cards. They have, like, no creatures. They have, like... Yeah, most of the creatures they played were ours. I think they played Solemn Simulacrum. That wasn't ours. 
Garg Test is probably pretty good against them. Yeah. I don't know if we even need Harmonize. We have a lot of card advantage in our deck. I guess he cut that for him. <clears throat> uh, Exclusion Mage is only creatures, yes. If it would hit at things other than creatures, that would be pretty insane. That doesn't even feel real. Alright. Oh boy, the old one land, seven, six drop, seven drop, eight drop hand, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, not gonna keep that. And literally, wow, that's amazing. And I'll keep it, I guess. Wow, this is pretty bad against their no mulligan hand. Okay, Michael, where was the luck? I thought we were gonna have luck from you, buddy. I never said I'd provide such services. Well, maybe you should have. Maybe you should have prayed to me, and then maybe I would have. Swear to me! Don't you wish there was a restaurant like Christina's around here, where you can get like a big-ass omelet and home fries for like four bucks? There is a place like that, only their food is bad and overpriced. So it's not like that? No. Okay. No. Hey, I'll just go to Christina's. Precious dude, up. have a good night, buddy. Let's drive with St. Pete, get some Christina's. What if I What if I go with you after this and we just both go? I hate that idea. Wow, this is actually... It'd be late, though. Probably like Yeah, three. it's getting pretty late. I mean, you say that, but then you sit in bed for four hours anyway, so I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like, you're like, yeah, it's getting pretty late. I gotta be in my room by 3 a.m. so I can watch YouTube for four hours. <laughs> so I don't understand, like, what your point is. I cannot contest this. <laughs> it's so weird. You're like... Well, I, I actually do need to rest my back is, is a real thing. Well... Yeah, that's true, but that doesn't that affects like the last like week, like not not your entire life. <laughs> oh, Mike's been fine driving. Uh, Blue Island. Yeah, Actually, though. driving is kind of uncomfortable. You've been doing it. You've managed. You're yeah, like, I mean, I have to. I have to go to you know work and stuff. I have to. I got to go to my workums. Oh, this is where they just pack navigation. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Fuck off, dude! Oh. <sighs> Cool deck. Sorry, that was aggressive, but those matches were not fun. Those are not fun games, dude. What is Mike watching on YouTube? Uh, I watch the Game Grumps. I watch. Uh, I take out Temporal Mastery. Put in this guy. The GMMs. Good Mythical Morning. Let's talk I watch about a bunch of random food stuff, like food shows, like binging with Babish. I watch a lot of, uh... I mean, I love Blue, don't get me wrong, but, like, that wasn't just a matter of Blue. That was, like, literally perfect Planeswalker on 3, 4, 5. Perfect answer for every card I played. Literally, almost every card I played. That was... We had, like, one permanent on board. It was a Rattleclaw Mystic, and that was the extent of it, so it's just... Eh. I do watch some Bon Appetit and, uh, and some Munchies. Kitchen, I saw that there was a new Bon Appetit that was posted with, uh... with Matty Matheson. Oh. That was exciting. That guy's very entertaining. Yeah, Matty Matheson is fantastic. Did you mention Hot Ones? Oh, I do watch Hot Ones. We the, That's like the communal show, though, so I wasn't thinking it was my shows that I watched. That's what I figured, yeah. Yeah. Watch the Hot Ones. Uh, anything that E-Dupes, I-Dubs comes out with. <laughs> Uh, any H3H3 content. Also, I mean, this may get some backlash, but I do I do enjoy the PewDiePie. I think he's pretty funny. I don't think he's as controversial as people. Like, I think he's had some issues, but honestly, who hasn't had their controversial moments? It was pretty bad, though. But Okay, it was bad, yes. Actually, I forgot. I was like, oh, yeah, that was actually pretty real, was pretty real awkward. It was a heat of the moment thing, but it still is pretty bad. Hmm. The problem is that should never be in your heat of the moment repertoire. Right. I heard Mike's floating head is the new Hungry Howie's mascot. Can confirm? I don't have any confirmation on that, but but uh, now, um, like even in his own submissions, like he has this like weekly show where he where he reviews like memes that are posted on his his like Reddit subreddit, 
and people actually meme on him about that like they make fun of him for it so it's pretty good all right so what would be nice is if we had a second green source here plus is the it's the new drama on youtube who's gonna win pewdiepie or t-series for the most subs of all time Had to check, big fan. Here we go. That dude has 71 million subscribers now. Which one? PewDiePie. He's still in the lead, but the T-Series, like Indian channels, catching up. It's only 100,000 subs away? Wow, that's yep. real close, dude. Nope, that's not what we're looking for. Actually, maybe it is. This be beauty, this is beauty pie over here. If you know what I'm saying. No, I don't understand. I didn't Please think explain you would. it. This seems like a pretty versatile threat. You got pro, pro blue against the blue deck, and also if they try to target it, we get a guy to further equip with this. So. Is Mike wearing a green screen? Yeah, he's wearing it. <laughs> pretty much. He has a green sweater that Kerwit bought him, so uh, it's basically the same thing. Oh, this is not. This is not gonna. This is no bueno for you. Beauty pie is sold. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, there we go. That's what we're talking about here. Let's get. Let's do the deed. You familiar with the deed? No. You like Mister Deeds? Yeah. Do you? No. It's not a good Adam Sandler movie, man. Is that the one where he's like a rich guy? It's the one that sucks. Well, that's the, that that there's a lot of those. There are more than I would expect. He is the especially, great, yeah. especially in recent years. In Frank Stream, Mike is green screen. Like the the one where he has Al Al Pacino doing a Dunkin' Donuts commercial. I don't think I know what that is. Oh, you don't know that Dunkin' no. That sounds ridiculous. Say hello to my chocolate what was it oh we won the game it's really cringeworthy don't waste my motherfucking time yeah it's that but he does puns with dunk dunkin donuts memes uh dunkin donuts memes yeah just look up al pacino dunkin donuts is this a movie though yes this is part of a movie like i want you to google it right now i'm gonna google it for you buddy dunkachino that's not it that's it there you go. Oh, wow. What movie is this? Oh, it's in Jack and Jill? Yeah. I don't know what that movie is, but that it's sounds bad. terrible. It's a bad movie. In Russia, screen greens you. Yes, the the 90s Adam Sandler movies were so good. And then, like, there was a point where you're just like, wait, what's happening? Wait, no, stop. I want to get off. The train never stopped. Oh, yeah, we're keeping this. And the train needed to stop years ago. Yeah, like, you're like, wow, Billy Madison. Wow. Tommy, uh, Happy Gilmore. That's it, though, right? Like, I think there were a couple, a couple good ones after. There's that. like the Water Boy, which I is think kind of Big okay. Daddy was okay. Big Daddy also had uh John Stewart in it. Is that the one where he's rich and he has a kid and he like? No, that's Mr. Deeds. Okay, I wasn't sure. Let's go to his IMDb and we'll look it up. You ready? All right. Oh, The Wedding Singer was good. I like The Wedding Singer a lot. Fifty Furts Dates was okay. I enjoyed that. Little Nicky. Oh, God. Deuce Bigelow. Mm. He wasn't really in that, I guess. The Wedding Singer was good. Happy Gilmore was great. Billy Mattis. Airheads? I liked Airheads. I don't even know what that is. You ever seen Airheads? I don't think so. Oh, man. That's not like an Adam Sandler movie, though, right? That's just like movies with him in it. No, well, he was... Yeah, correct. It's not like a Happy Madison movie or something. <sighs> Jade Light Ranger? Sword? Jade Light Ranger. Kurt, do you have an IMDb? I'm going to look it up right now. Oh, 
Oh, there's a lot of... Uh... No, there's only two, I guess. It could be one of two. Alright, come on. Oh, two lands. That seems good. We only get a 2-1 out of it, but that's okay. Put it on the 4 a.m. watch list, floaty boy. <laughs> Call out. <laughs> Got him. Well, what, what am I watching? I don't know. What was the movie? The w -W Water Boy? I've seen Water Boy. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have. Have you really seen it, though? He can he can go all night long. There, there's a meme from it. H happy birthday. <laughs> Why is it my, is my birthday? Yeah. It's your birthday tonight. It's my birthday tonight? Yeah, because you will be born again in my image. What are you saying right now? As my floaty head religion. Oh dear God! <laughs> did they? Oh, I was like, did they get rid of one of my lands? And then I was like, oh no, we're just, we it's not turn five, so. Oh, it's that is yeah, that's the one I saw that was on there. But there's one more. Yeah, that's fine. Negate it. Next time we're gonna play sword, and then we're gonna swing with the sword, and then it's just all downhill from there. Oh, anger management, happy Gilmore, grandma's boy, the water boy, and Billy Madison are probably the best of the movies. Uh, wedding singer is definitely up there for me, dude. I don't think I've seen wedding singer. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. Her, her name is gonna be Julia Gulia. I don't know, man. That's not a normal name. Anger management's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next Grandma's week. Boy is great, but I don't know if I consider that an Adam Sandler movie. I don't think it's an Adam Sandler movie. I think it's an, it's a Happy Gil it's a Happy Madison movie though, isn't it? I don't know that. It might be. I just don't think it has Adam Sandler in it, which I think is a criteria to have. Yeah, it's Happy Madison production. Okay, so they produced it. It's just not a movie with Adam Sandler in it, uh, heavily at least. I think he might be like a. He might be in it like as a guest. I'm not. I don't remember. I don't remember a minute, but it's been a long time since I've seen it. It's been a long time since I've seen it. It's been a while since I could watch that movie. I don't think it's been a while since you could watch it. You could probably watch it tomorrow if you wanted to. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Why do you ruin everything? God. Why do you get so angry, man? You really need... You need... Ang you need anger management. <laughs> It's an Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> Thanks for explaining the joke further. It was needed. No, I wasn't sure if you got it. Dude, you <laughs> Look at Mike, the Woodfall Primus. Hold on, let me see if I can... Here, don't move. Ugh, I had to. There you go, now Mike's the Hornet Queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. We're having a good time. I'm just going to take this. Oh, they harmonized and search for us content. All right, well, this is good for us. Land... Nothing else. <coughs> Just Woodfall Primus. Five, six, seven, eight. Get back our thing. I kind of like just equipping this, though. To be honest. Actually, we can flip this guy and, and net, what, three, two mana? You do net mana by flipping it. So we net two. So we get like ten now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can actually play Woodfall Primus and Equip. <coughs> what do we get back? Jade Light Ranger? Probably. And we're just going to keep Cyclonic Rift on top. Mike is number one on Coyote Sting Index. Well, Coyote makes, he makes film about getting Sting, but it's not his Sting list. What is he, what? It's the Pain Index. Insect Pain, in, I don't know the official name, but it's not the Coyote Sting Index. You're the Coyote Sting Index. Although that, that those YouTubes are great. I'm going to sneeze now. <coughs> I, I, I feel like it's one per stream. I feel like I'm, my, my sneeze is an average of one per stream. Anyone got the statistics on that? Ooh. Felipe Someone sneezed like six times yesterday. It was like in a row, and I was like, oh, God, he's dead. He's dead for sure. That's a good one. I got this rift, though. 
Are you dead if I rift? So, yeah, you're dead. This is just sitting here laughing at you. I am allergic to streaming. You can, it's, a, it's a mild allergic, allergic Mike reaction. Mike B, do you sing the song Desert Rose? I don't know that song. Every desert rose has its thorn. That's not, nope, that's not it. Just like every desert rose has its dawn. Every desert might be. Coyote Peterson makes me wet. Good for you. Wow, that's uh, that's something right there. Do they have... Leave a comment about it. They already negated... I hope this isn't a Voyage Made Prodigy. Oh, crying out loud it is. It's always a Voyage Made Prodigy. Oh, or that. That's also pretty good. Is a sad, sad Michael. Every Michael has its down. Actually, this just kills them. So we're still in good shape here. No, they can block it, right? Well, they have to, like, triple block it. Which I guess is fine, but then it comes back. Well, they are going to gain five. No, we... Oh, yeah, well, sure. But I was thinking, no, but the no, but the the damage kills them because they have eight cards in their deck. It mills them for ten. Oh, sure, gotcha. That way they're dead. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. All gotcha, their gotcha. all their deck is. Maybe they have an Aldrazi. Oh, they don't. Okay. <laughs> oh, they don't. Okay. Oh, they couldn't actually. They couldn't actually triple block because pro blue man, man. I'm hmm. in this. I'm in this chat right here with everybody else, and this magic game is not doing the thing. I'm gonna F6 here. Oh God, they're doing something. Oh God, what if they have a thing? Oh, uh, I don't think that's going to do what you want it to do. Oh, they're just like, kill that thing, and then I'll end the game. I just wanted to show you I had it. Ha 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 ha. We knew they had it. Ha 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 ha. It's a good Peter Griffin laugh. Oh, Michael, you live in a trash can. The one downside to being headless, or only a head. Sweatshirt's kind of hot. Well, yeah. But it's cool outside, so it evens out. doesn't, actually. That's not how that works. Mitchell, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the support and uh, for the opportunity to play the deck. Really appreciate it. That is super pay to play. Your dragon going to die? Pay a buck to have it not die. About to lose? Pay to win instead. Wow, that's pretty good. I think we can dig sure that. sure that'll be a balanced, fun game. I actually kind of want to make my own card game. Not because I think it's going to like take off, but just because I want to have the experience of doing so. Uh, this hand seems good. I will keep you on top. This is a turn three Jace if we can get it. And if you get it, won't you tell me? You know that song? You kind of trailed off there. Well, that's my business, not you. That's my business, not you. It is not your business, Michael. It is my business. Well, at least my opponent is not playing blue, so... No counter spells. No, I'm just gonna kill this. Path to exile. Oh, path would be nice. Ba pathing this is basically the same as just. I think they were, they were like, oh dang it! If I path this, they just get a land anyway. Doesn't help anything. I would actually laugh if they had path and they were just like, oh, oh dang it! It's the same thing. That's cool. Jace is like the perfect foil to this, so that's pretty okay. All right, is rain. It's right, is rain at A's. Good talk. Oh, Michael, you came and you brought me a turkey. Came and brought you a turkey. This is a Simpsons song, but you wouldn't get it because you're a pleb. Mmm, steamed hams. <laughs> steamed hams. <clears throat> Aurora Borealis, and See it's located right there in your kitchen. What? Okay, you get the meme. Good. Yeah, that's one of the funniest scenes that's ever been on The Simpsons. Mon Frere. Mon Frere. Yeah. What well, problem is? Oh my god! Mm, steam clams. <laughs> Do we just activate again? I really want to hit something to play, but I think we're okay not doing that too. So 
What are you doing? You're on your little armies there? I don't have any arms, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> don't be stupid, Frank. I don't have any arms. Our robot door locker just locked the door. Now we can't leave. I guess we're trapped here. It's coming from inside the house. I like going Consecrated Sphinx into on turn 7 Rampage of Galaxy into Playland. I also like ultimating this Jace at some point. That's a pretty good... That's a good game. That's a good boy. Are you going to kill this? Probably. Why you do this? He did. I mean, I still have to deal with this Jace, though. I respect The Simpsons, but I could seriously never get into it my whole life. Please don't smite me, floaters. I won't smite you because I also haven't watched much of The Simpsons. I feel like it was also after your time, though. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, you were, you probably, you probably started, you would have had to start at, like, season 20. <laughs> I don't know if that's God, true. The Simpsons is so old, dude. It's unbelievable. When did it start? Like, 90 something? Yeah, 90 something. Sunlance on my Rattly McMaddly. 1989. That's First insane. Episode date. And what season are they on now? 40 something? 30 seasons? That's unbelievable. Oh, Mike B. I'll catch up. Oh, I like Prophet of Crufix here. That's a good draw. Unless they kill it. But in that case, it's very sad. And I have a bad time. Oh, they might have been trying to cast the Sunlance on the Mystic, but then they realized it was a sorcery, so they were like, dang it. It's probably just better to play my Lingering Souls here. Oh! You okay? Was that real? That was real pain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm laughing because you did it funny, not because of the pain. Oh. Can't move that way. Jesus. This draft may have been a mistake. It's okay. He's doing good. He's doing good, guys. Mm. Oh, man. We can ultimate Jace next turn. I haven't seen much of the recent stuff for the older Simpsons. Yeah. There's definitely a point where the, the early Simpsons sucked. And then Simpsons got real good. And I don't know how it is recently. Do we ultimate Jace here? Like, we can get a Terastinar. We can get a Hornet Queen. And then we can get back Jace. Let's be greedy. Let's wait a turn so we can keep our Jace. I guess we can already get it back. So just alt it. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep it. Plus, like, it's nice to have an answer for these idiots on the board. So... I guess be Eternal Witness and get back something like Consecrated Sphinx. Then we can just play Bela. Could just play Bela. But then I don't get to do anything. True. Now, I like Eternal Witness and get Consecrated Sphinx and then just play Consecrated Sphinx during their upkeep. How about that? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Because it's a good play. It's a solid play, you see. I get to play my man again during their upkeep. What voice is this? I don't know. Oh, look at it. Did you see those cards I drew? They're good ones. Not really. Oh, got my neck. Telling me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, man, I got no right to complain right now. Your neck can still hurt, as as does my back. Yeah, it's like that. Uh, it's like that meme where it's like, you know, just because it's a first world problem doesn't mean it's an actual problem. Right. Agreed. Agreed. One greed. I kind of like Pelucranos here because they have Pelucranos here because they have lingering souls. I guess I got to harmonize. You doing all right? It's last game, so if we win, what is dead may never die. That's true. That's how. Uh, that's how House Greyjoy lives. Don't stab yourself. I would never do that. I, would I totally beg to differ. That. You don't have to beg. I'll allow it. <sighs> we have not drawn a Primeval Titan yet. We have not drawn a Tireless Tracker yet. Not drawn Tribeller yet. I 
think those are the ones we haven't drawn. I feel like this deck needed like more acceleration. We're two, we're one one, and we're up a game. I think I think that's fine. I'm saying man. it could have been better. God, you are so. That's how we would won our first match. That's how we would have won our first match. That's how we would have won it. I consider keeping this just because Jace is really good against them. Agreed. I also think this is acceleration, and you were just complaining about it, so. Oh, that's good. If they play something good, then we got something good, too. That's how that works. Sunlance is interesting. I don't know if that was always in this queue or not, but... It's like a red lightning bolt. A white lightning bolt. A whitening bolt. <laughs> God. I'm so clever. It's unbelievable. I thought the bolt was white! <laughs> it was. You could be like a floating Cheshire cat head. Good for you, man. What's happening right now? What are you doing? Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I kind of want to copy that, though. Oh. Oh. But we don't have a lot of ways to trigger it. Oh. 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 I mean, we got two in our hand. Do you not like my song? The song of my people? I want to play Jace because next turn if we hit a land we can play Prophet into Vizier. And then we can do one of these jobbies. Did you know that gypsies make a bear dance over a guy against back pain? I did not know that. Huh. Now I know. I know what I must do. <laughs> I now know what I must do. Uh oh, Raska's contempt. Uh oh, big contempt. Eldest are born. Jesus, that is worse. It's a sacrifice a planeswalker, doesn't it? Yep, it sure does. They also get it back at the end of the at the end of the book, the end of the story. That is something. Rex Sage, not a Rex Sage. I do want to hit lands here though, so. All right, let's do the deed. Come on, land boys. Those landy boys are out of the game. Land boys, do 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 do. Landy boys. If we hit another land, we can actually play Prophet, Untap, play Primeval Titan. Oh, oh, oh! Discard a card. I'll discard this one because it's still good from the graveyard. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Yeah. That's for true. That is for true. Doing a little sneak peek. Memories. Memories. Uh... Four point four stars. It's a good restaurant it is. It's a good one it is. I really want to land off the top here. I really want to land off the top here. Talk show. <laughs> I'm actually afraid to play Primeval Tide. Well, I guess we can wait till their turn. Like, we'll go Prophet of Crufix. They can cop. They can uh, get Vizier Many Faces or whatever. All right, this is a lot of things, but I don't really care about many of them, to be fair. As long as we can hit a land here, I think we're good. I think we can win the game, man. Oh, God, we're so good at this game. Oh, the Signet doesn't untap. Oh, we don't need it to untap because we can just tap our lands. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a beauty. I almost wanted there, but you picked it up. That's a beauty. A beaut, as they say. So we're going to let them target whatever they want. Being able to untap and then attack with Primeval Titan is also pretty strong. I think they probably just get Jace here. It seems like the strongest card. The other two creatures are just kind of meh.
Yep. And depending on what they get with Jace, will depend on if we play Primeval Titan or Raging Baloth. If we play Raging Baloth here, we can untap and immediately get two beasts. Um, whereas if we play Primeval Titan, we can play Rampaging Baloth and we have to attack with Prime. Yeah, I guess that's it's pretty close to the same thing. Uh, <laughs> sure, that's fine. What do you want, the land or the relic? You probably take the lands, right? Yep. Plains and CC. E and CC. This is where they have the Sunlance. Now it's already in the graveyard. Okay. Well, we know two of the four cards in your hand. Tap up for something stupid. Yes. That is fine. That is. Now I definitely think we play the Bailos. Yeah, because then we can go Primeval Titan and make two beasts. Oh god, if they attack with something, it's going to be an utter blot. Yikes. Well, I guess not with this. Attacking is their only chance of winning, really, I think. Like, just going all out. Do I care about this guy? Don't want to take the damage. He's got a lot of... He's going pretty wide. Because he can just block it for free, right? What's he going to have? Well, they're going to kill this, though. I'm going to block it with a bail off. Right, but it has Menace. Oh. So, we play this. We get two lands. Next turn, we play Bailoth. I think we want the two extra lands here, because we're going to attack with this guy anyway. Then maybe just take it. I don't want them to draw a card next turn is the problem as well. True. Does it matter? I don't even know if that matters. Preserving our life total might matter though. Yeah, well, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a six six and two four fours next turn. Not including if we just draw land naturally. I'm gonna take three here. Like we're gonna have plenty of blockers next turn, that's not even an issue. Plus, we actually can play, if we draw something else like a Hornet Queen, we can play that as well, so. Very good at this game. I think we're going to the Jace. Resources are more important than... Wow, Am gets on tap the lands, too. Jeez. <sighs> yep, this is pretty unbeatable. Bobby Miser, have a good night, buddy. One good night, buddy. See bug. you later. Thank you for the support, buddy. Hope you're feeling better. Uh, let's make two beastie boys. Life is a simulation. One, ten point, yeah, yeah, ten point oh, hundred percent. That's like the third time it's happened in this draft alone. Like, if you block, you have to block with either one of these in order to kill you. Like, if you block with this and these two, it's just a fine trade. It's a three for one. And then you're left with not much. And then we get the Hornet Queen, so. <coughs> yep. Yep. That is also a fine trade. Just getting Monastery Mentor off the board is pretty huge. And Jay still goes to one, so they can't activate it to draw cards. And three, two, one. Yep. Let's untap. They do get to draw a card, which is fine. We can deal with it. <coughs> Excuse me. No. no. That's your choice. Thank you guys for making the first couple hours of my overnight shift easier. Anytime, buddy. Glad I could help, TJ. Yeah, I want, to watch, I want a job where I can watch YouTube. Where can I get one of those? Well, you see. I'm listening. 
I was just asking if you, I just wanted you to see. Got him. Come on. Oh, that's sad. And we have a pretty good refuel. Yeah, but they're going to get the Jace. That's an interesting card for your deck that, go, that, get, that goes wide. Yep, all right. Plus Jace. A Hotel Night Auditor. What does that even mean? So you don't even know what that is. Wow. That kills my little bee boys. It does. What do you know about my bee what do you, what do you know about my bee boys? Not much. Hmm. What do we got here? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> I like these two. That seems fine. I'm going to assume you don't have another damnation effect. The auto hotels at night. What are you? <laughs> yeah, come on, buddy. Get it together. What does that even mean, though? What do you think it means? I don't know. That's why I asked. I don't know. <laughs> yep. Saw that one coming. Oh, they just plus Jace. That seems fine. Watch out for my B-Boys. Uh, you could use Hornet Queen to kill the Jace. That seems pretty relevant. However. However. Five. Let's Vivian read first. How about that? We'll see what we get. Consecrated Spinkles. Do I just want the... I think we just want the Thrag Tusk here. Yeah. <sighs> do we care about the milling? Do we want to mill them or do we want to just get rid of the Jace? And Jace makes your other bees bad. Yeah, it makes your bees bad. Be yourself. It's also, I mean, I mean, they could just kill this guy too. I'd probably do that either way. Yeah. I doubt they're going to take a sword hit. <sighs> of course they have something. Two cards in hand. Vraska's Contempt. Sure. Oh, we have Vizier many faces in the graveyard, which is super nice. All right, I got two cards. I'm the guy to make sure all accounts are balanced and basically am a babysitter. Okay. Oh, we're going to give you that guy by himself. Well, isn't that a good hit? Oh, isn't that special? <clears throat> we can also play Thrag Tusk and copy it. Seems pretty decent. Because I doubt There's too many Planeswalkers. I agree. Especially if they take this Gideon Drew. Seems pretty good here. They did not. Wow, that's weird. Took the Doomblade, huh? Doomblade Planes. Interesting. I think he played a Planes. Well, he just... No, you're right. So now we know Doomblade, I guess. Wow, that was unexpected. <clears throat> yes, this is Petrick. Petrick. That's correct. Petrick. That's correct.
<laughs> oh, that's great because we get our Jace back. It's pretty good. Oh, that's actually gas. Uh, oh, Eternal Witness. Seems good. Oh, boy. All these things are good. I'm just going to attack here. Let them use their Doom Blade on something. I don't even want to kill the Jace if we can just bounce it. Uh, attack all at you, right? Yeah. Yeah, that seems fine. You can kill the bee, or you can kill the tireless tracker. They killed the bee. Cast with overload. It's an instant. Yeah, but I don't want them to activate the planeswalkers. Oh, sure. No, we got two in the pool. <clears throat> get that value. I don't want them to get that Liliana value. It's an instant. You're an instant. Could have played it upkeep. Instant dummy. Got him. Oh, another Liliana. Oof. Oof. One, two, three, four. Oh, you, know, you can't cast it this turn. That's pretty good. Now we got a chance to draw a tireless tracker and make it a 4 3. 3 4 3? Yeah. And then we can put a sword on B so that that guy can't die either. Actually, we can just get Primeval Titan, make a bunch of clues. That's a lot of mana, though. Was that 9, 10, 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, they obviously took a Lesh Norn. <clears throat> How do we beat that? We just make our guys bigger and then don't care about it. Woodfall Primus is a good start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll take Woodfall Primus for sure. Uh, you, you, and Liliana. Like, this is also 3 3 now, so Alessia doesn't really do anything against it. And then we get another B, another wolf, a B wolf. Oh, they did have a Day of Judgment. Wow, that's impressive. Is this what we want to do? We we'll also get the emblem next turn. That's pretty insane. We could just play Jace and then look for a land to make Tireless Tracker big. I don't think it matters, though. I think I'd rather just have Woodfall Primus. It just restricts the things they can do. Because like, now they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so they only have one extra mana. <clears throat> and then we still have a B that floats over and kills them, so. <laughs> just Float shut up and over. saw Mike's floaty head. What did you do to Mike? Well. Aleshi. Dead, dead, dead. Yep, that is fine. This B kills you, though. Be yourself. Emblem. <laughs> it's easy. Easy game. Oh god, our creatures are indestructible now, and they have vigilance and trample. Oh god. Oh god. All right, well your whole deck is in your trash can now, so I am gonna pass. Your turn. And dead. That will do. That will do. 
All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Links are in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore if you're looking for some sweet underwear, socks, tees, lounge pants, onesies, you name it. And it's all super soft micromodal. You get 15% off and you get free shipping and free returns. Helps me out. Helps you out. Really great way to support the stream if you're looking for that kind of thing. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching.